Movie Night, directed by Stephen Moverly, written by Bob Barnes and Sean Boyland. There I was in the big city. A major movie star, Eva Maria Dominguez, had been spotted downtown. I had been sent to get photographs from my newspaper, the Daily Dilly Dally. The only problem was that I couldn't find her anywhere. Hmm. Where is the first place Eva Maria Dominguez would go in the city? That's it! I happen to know that the one thing Eva Maria Dominguez loves more than anything else is shopping for fabulous glamour umbrellas. Hey, Miss Dominguez! How about a smile? I had just gotten off my bus from school and said goodbye to Mateo, my bus driver. Bye, Mateo! I saw my tire waiting for me outside my parents' hotel. Cheese! <laughs> come on, Tire. Come on, Feather Duster. Let's go see what my parents are up to. Hey, Mom! Hi, Button. How was your day? It was great! I became the editor-in-chief of my own newspaper and snapped a front-page photo of a big-time movie star. Better make extra copies. Everybody's gonna want to buy one. <laughs> I bet you're right. What are you working on? I think you're gonna like it. It's movie night tonight. Movie night? Once a year, my parents throw a movie party. It's so much fun. There's popcorn, and I get to stay up a little bit late to watch. That's my favorite night of the year. I remember how excited you got last year. And I bet tonight's going to be a good one. There's plenty for everyone to do. Your dad and I have to set up the parking lot, Cooter has to find the film reel, and Connie has to finish making the popcorn. What can I do, Mom? Oh, oh my. Oh, dear. It sounds like Connie's having a little... Trouble with the popcorn. Could you go give her a hand? Of course! I'll just follow the sound of the popping. I was out diving in my submarine. My bath had stopped bubbling, and everyone knows that the best bubbles are at the bottom of the sea. Yep, it sounds like I'm picking something up. Looks like the trouble is over there. See the problem? Who put this rock in here? <laughs> Let's see. What did I learn in submarine school about pesky rocks? Hmm. Aha! Oh boy! Looks like we'll have plenty. Of bubbles now. Actually, I found Connie in the kitchen and the popcorn maker was going crazy. The popcorn was going all over the place. Oh no! I put way too many kernels in. <sighs> there we go. Dear, now there's popcorn everywhere. Cleaning up. Oh, thank you, dear. While I sweep up, will you put that popcorn that's on the table into bags for the guests? Sure. Oh, my. Oh, there's still some left in the popper. Catch it, Ellen, quick. 
I was on a trip to the freezing cold tundra of the Arctic. My team was looking for the most perfect snowflake ever caught. And everyone knows the best way to catch snowflakes. Delicious! Wow, that might be the best snowflake I've ever seen! I know what I need! My blizzard-proof Frostinated Flake Master 800! Snowflakes is so much fun! Actually, I had just hopped off the couch in my family's living room. Sorry to make you move, Button. We don't have enough chairs in the parking lot for movie night, so we're gonna use the couch for extra seats. No problem! I can help! Oh! Take this pillow out for you! Follow me! It was the most important night of the year in the forest. The All Animal Super World Championship of Rock, Paper, Scissors! I had naturally been selected to be the referee. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an amazing championship. Finally, it's all come down to this. and win this beautiful trophy! Let's bring out the finalists! In this corner, the challenger, the monkey who's funky, Ricky Fingers Finnegan! And in this corner, our reigning champion, comes down to this. So make sure to have fun! And... One, two, three, shoot! And Finnegan chose scissors! And Finnegan chose paper! Scissors beats paper! Finnegan wins the tournament! Oh, tough luck, Barry! Hey, Ricky, you did it! <laughs> Actually... I had just taken the pillow outside when I noticed Cooter looking around for something. Now where in tarnation did that thing get to? Hey, Cooter! Well, hey there, Ellen. What's the matter? Well, I'll tell you, Ellen. I've looked all over the place ten times and then ten times over again. And I can't seem to find the movie. Uh-oh. Now everybody's ready, the popcorn's made, the seats are all lined up, but there's not even a movie for them to watch. Hmm. Are you sure you looked everywhere? Definitely. I've looked every place I could have put it, and it's nowhere to be found. Well, it's like it's hiding on us. Where could it be? The living room? The lobby? The kitchen? That's it! Cooter, I know exactly where it went! You do? When Connie made that popcorn shower, the movie got buried underneath all the popcorn. It's in the kitchen! You lead the way! Well, I'll be, Ellen, if you didn't just go and save movie night. Thanks. No problem, Cooter. What a day! I snapped a photo of a really famous movie star. I took my submarine to the bottom of the ocean. 
I went to the freezing cold Arctic Circle to get the world's greatest snowflake. And I refereed the All Animals World Rock, Paper, Scissors Championship. I decided to take a break, relaxing with some of my penguin friends. Actually, Mom and Dad had just finished setting up a screen for everyone to watch. Are you getting excited for the movie, sweetie? <laughs> you betcha! Everybody was in their seats eating their popcorn and everything was ready just in time. Actually... <laughs> Actually, it was... 